Good morning. It is Tuesday around 10 a.m., which can only mean one thing. It's time for our tianguis. Tianguis is basically like a Mexican version of a farmer's market, kind of. They come every week, every neighborhood around Mexico City and other parts of Mexico also um, have like a tianguis. And it's not just fruits and vegetables, it's like clothes and um, there's like people selling food that's already made. Um, you can have like tacos and that sort of thing cheeses and meats and fish and yeah just about everything so we have basically no food <laughs> our fridge is empty so it's gonna be a big shop um but yeah it usually costs us around 600 pesos to fill our fridge with fruits and vegetables um we stick to buying our dry goods at at the supermarket um, but this is where we buy all of our fresh produce um it's way cheaper it's a lot fresher it's more seasonal um so yeah here we go We've got loads of reusable bags. Um, I try to reuse like the plastic bags that they give us every week. I wash them out and use them again. We are now known as the widows who bring their own plastic bags. <laughs> but it's good for the environment, you guys. We have a lot of bags now. Luke carries more than I do. Last stop, fresh tortillas. So much fruit, la la la. Now our fridge is full. And it only, co you can't really, looks exactly the same as it did before. <laughs> uh, it cost us just over 500 pesos, about 520 pesos roughly, that includes the tortillas that we just bought from a new tortilleria in our neighborhood that's only using white corn, which is so exciting. Um, so that is roughly, according to today's exchange rate, about $27. And that will feed Luke and I for breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, until next Tuesday. We eat out on the weekends, but uh, Monday to Friday we eat at home and we eat mostly fresh fruits and vegetables. So yeah. Pretty inexpensive um, in comparison to trying to eat this way in many other places. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a tianguis looks like, and um, I will see you next time. Bye! You can find me most often on Instagram at eternalexpat. I post videos almost every day on Instagram stories. I post photos most days of the week. Lots of tips about Mexico City, other travels that I have during the year. I even have a little place where I store my highlights from my stories so that you can see all of my recommendations for places that I've been recently. Hope to see you there. Bye guys.